Hello guys, what's up and welcome back to another video of Travel Tech. So today in this video, we are going to be talking about a new app for the Digipad, a new music player for the Digipad. And you might ask me, what is the need for a new music player when you already have the stock one? Well, of course, this particular music player has got a lot of customization options and a lot of advanced options in order to control the music which you are playing on your digipad screen so these options you might not find them in the stock player so once you have this app you might have a more versatile control over the music which is being played on the screen and some of you who are music enthusiasts you will definitely like this app so before i go ahead and show you that app i'll just show some of the basic apps which i have installed in my digipad so this is the es file explorer which is required to install any sort of an app in the digipad and here is the firefox browser this is a spotify which is my must and have favorite for digipad and here is an mx player in order to play the videos on the digipad screen and here is the equalizer to get that ohm factor out of the music so these are the five basic apps which i have in my digipad and of course if you are missing these apps in your digipad i recommend you to go ahead and install them and if you want to know how to install them just click down on the description below i'll give link for each one of those in the description so guys let's just go ahead and dive down straight into the music wallet app for the digipad so guys here is the music wallet app for the digipad this is the main default screen and right now a thumbnail or an album art is being shown on the left side of the screen and here on the right side is the main music button menu so let's just dive down into some of the settings which i was talking about and show you what exactly and how exactly this app is different from the stock music player of the digipad so on the left top of the screen if you just click on that it is going to give a list of the songs that is being played and of course it is going to give you the option of the folders in order to select the songs which you're going to play and that is the current playlist or the recent playlist and on top here is the main music player button this button takes you to the stock music playing option or the stock music playing home screen and the third option is the folders option you can select the folder particular folder which you want to use in order to play the songs and the fourth option is the albums so you can select the particular albums which you want to play and you can select them directly via the screen and of course this also looks good on the digipad screen with all the albums showing up on a same single screen and the next option here is the artists option so you will find all the names of the artists here so you can select the song based on the artist and not on the song itself and the last option right on top is the playlist option and you will find some of the playlists such as the all songs the favorites recently added recently played and most played now these are the options uh, which you might not find in the stock player of the digipad and here on the right top of the screen if you can see there is a three dotted menu so if i just click on that there is a drop down menu opening up and in this drop down menu there are several options and the first one of them is the equalizer option so if i just go ahead and click on the equalizer there is a basic equalizer present in this app a five band equalizer along with a bass boost and a surround sound and the next option which i want to show you guys is the sleep timer option so if i just go ahead and click on the sleep timer it is going to give two options such as close app after particular hours or minutes or close the app after n number of songs so this is a very important option guys because we don't find this in any of the other players or even in the stock player of the digipad and since you get this option you will now be able to automatically stop the songs after a particular amount of time has passed or after a particular number of songs have played on the screen so you need not have to stop the songs manually if you just put on this sleep timer the music player is going to stop automatically based on the option which you have chosen so this is a very versatile option present in this music player and in third option here there is a settings button so if i just go ahead and click on the so here are some of the settings present in this app so on top here is the language setting of course we all will select english here here is a second option called as the interface so if i just go ahead and click on the interface button so it's a very nice option here called as the theme option so if i just go ahead and click on the theme button there are three different options such as light theme dark theme and black amulet so this is something which you guys are going to like and if i just go ahead and click on dark theme and click on the save button right here you can see the way the player changes the theme it gets into a dark gray kind of a background so if you are someone who likes a dark gray background you can select the dark theme of the player and if you are someone who wants the player to be in a white colored background you can select the white theme or the light theme so this is the dark gray color so if you want the player to get a bit more blacker 
a bit more darker you can select this black amoled uh, option right here uh, but the problem is our digipad screen is not an amoled screen it's an lcd screen but it will still try to mimic the amoled screen so if i just go ahead and click on the save button so as you can see the player turns completely black now the only the written options are in white and the rest everything looks in completely black and there are several other options right below in this interface section which you can go ahead and play about once you install this app in your uh, digipad and there are several many other options in the main settings option as well as you're seeing on the screen right now you can go ahead and uh, play around with this once you install this app i'm not going to get into the detail of all these uh, setting options but the one thing which i wanted to uh, which i want you guys to note is that the st uh, steering wheel control regarding the next and the previous button do not apply to this particular player because this app or the, this player is not specifically designed for the digipad the previous and the next option do not work with this but the volume up and volume down button do work and you can increase or decrease the volume using the steering wheel control but the next and the previous buttons do not apply with this players and this player and in order to change the song to a next song or if you want to head back to a previous song you will have to touch the digipad screen in order to do that so that's it guys this was the video for today and this is the musicolet player for the digipad and in case if you are interested in downloading this particular app for the digipad i'm going to tell you exactly how you can do that right now so guys now i'm going to tell you in detail how you can download this uh, musicolet app for digipad it's a fairly simple process you just have to click down on the description of this video so just click down below and you'll find the link to download this app and once you click on that download button it is going to open up in a google drive page wherein you will get a particular download button in the middle of the screen so click on that download button and that particular app will be downloaded on whichever device you are accessing that web page it might be your smartphone or your pc or your laptop the app the apk file will get downloaded onto that so what you have to do next is transfer that apk file uh, using a pen drive or a micro sd card onto the digipad well insert the pen drive into the usb drive or the micro sd card into the micro sd card slot of the digipad so once you have done that you need to open up the es file manager present within the digipad well it's not actually present by default you have to first download and install the es file manager into the digipad and in case you haven't done that yet and you don't know how to do that i'll leave a link for that too in the description of this video in order to show you in detail how you can download and install the es file manager into the digipad so you just need to open up the file manager access the pen drive or the micro sd card whichever wherever you have placed the apk file and then click on that apk file and then it's going to install itself on the digipad and you can start using the app as i was showing you till now so this is a fairly simple process and a very easy process and if you have any sort of a queries or doubts regarding the installation procedure or any doubts regarding the app itself you can write down in the comment below and if you have any sort of other questions or if you have any sort of other apps which you might think of which you want or which you need in your digipad you can also write down in the comments below and i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible so this was the special app for today and so if you guys like the effort behind making this video and uh, finding out different sort of apps for the digipad make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel and of course don't go ahead without liking this video you guys subscribing to my channel means a lot to me and that gives me a lot of support and inspiration so please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't go ahead without clicking that like button also so thank you for watching guys and until next video have a really nice day